Jojo Ba decided to take up javelin throwing because that's what she likes to do. Read the rest of the slide, please. Good. I'm assuming you read all that. So anytime you are asked to maximize or minimize a quadratic function, they are basically saying, where's the vertex? So because we have a negative 16 t squared here, we should know that we have a parabola that opens down. Now that should make sense because when you throw something into the air, it follows an upside down parabola. So we have something like this. Ugh. So the x-axis really represents time, t, and the y-axis really represents height, h. So we're asking for at what time is the javelin the highest off the ground? Since we're looking for the x-coordinate of the vertex, then you need to use the formula negative b over 2a. Our b is 42, so we'll have negative 42. Our a is negative 16. Putting that into the calculator, you should get, I think you get, um, I don't know what you get. Uh, let me, let me bring the calculator over again. Negative 42 divided by technically negative 32. Oh, 1.3, uh, this is 1 point, that's a 1, 1 1.3125 unit. Oh wait, the, why was I writing unit? I want to write seconds here. Ah, no one will know. Oh, also that, that 3 is very far. I'll just make the decimal point much bigger. All right, works for me. Now, part B, what is the highest height the javelin reaches? We want to know this value here. Well, we know this occurs at 1.3125 seconds. So to find the corresponding height, we plug that back into the function. Oh, that's a, oh, oh no. Oh, geez. Who is, who is editing this video? The answer is nobody. So put in the uh, t value that we found back into the function. To get the corresponding height, I'm going to do that behind the scenes. Negative 16. Plus 48. Uh, I got uh, 75.5625, and the unit here is feet. Okay. As far as when does the javelin hit the ground, well, objects hit the ground when the height off the ground is zero. So we're going to set h of t equal to zero. And solve for t. This does not factor nicely. Because it does not factor nicely, we're sort of forced to use the quadratic formula or completing the square. Um, if you want to make your life a little bit easier, you can divide everything by negative 2 so you have smaller numbers to work with. But that is completely optional. You could use the original. Throwing that into the quadratic formula, we would get t is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c. There's a 24 there. All over 2a. That up. That's a negative 24. Yeah. 
so particular. That's that's an eighth down there. Just chilling. All right, good. Throwing that in the calculator and cleaning up, you get two values for t. You get negative 0 0.87 and you get uh, 3.4. Since t represents time, we can't have negative time. So our answer is 3.4. The reason we got negative 0 0.87 is because if we continue this parabola over here, notice that would be a negative t value and uh, time can't be negative.